came to know him very well. Their friendship with this bleak man with a kind voice began one day when the boys could not agree on the answer to a question. In their days, lesson in catechism. Stop short in their coming fight. Everybody knew everybody else in the pitan, so the boys knew that this was the man who had just come in town. They saw someone with a ravishing and virtuous face. His eyes could order when we wanted to. The strong line of his javelin reminded the boys of rocks. It seemed to tell them of something tough and unbreakable as they gazed at him. If you want to find out who is right, open your notes and read the answers very well. And see which of you gave the right answer. One of you may prevail with his fist, but that would not prove his answer is right. By the way, as he looked toward the sea, the boys walk away in tranquility. Not less, they stop and open their catechisms. Torch beam to himself. Whenever the boys pass by the spot, they would eagerly look for him. Usually, he was either reading or writing. When he saw them, he would wave to them. He took a bunch of ripe mangosteens along with him. He pulled the other one with him and shyly offered the fruit. Sir, mangosteen? The man's quick, bright smile completely won their hearts. Soon, they were all conversing with him as do, though he were their favorite uncle. Boys, would you like to learn other language besides Spanish? I'll teach you another if you can stay with me half an hour every day at this time. What language, sir? Have your choice, English, French, and German. Please look at him closely. At first, they thought he was joking, but his unsmiling face told them he was serious. English. The most interested and active appeared to be very absent-minded. Speak in a steady voice, but as he could not stop the quiver of his lips. Mother cannot see this day. She is almost blind. The doctor says she has to go to Manila, but my father cannot take her to Manila. We are very poor, sir. Let's go to your house, Lope. Perhaps I can help her. He went inside the house and came out with a black bag. Lope had no chance to refuse. The man was fully prepared to go home with him. Lope's mother was sitting on a bamboo chair. In the umbrageous portion of his yard, she inclined her face toward the sound of coming footsteps. Lope ran to her and rubbed his face against her left arm. She smiled gently but the light did not reach her eyes. There was only sorrow there. Someone is here who will help us. His friend was now looking into his mother's eyes, just like any other doctor peering into them. Lope felt better just to see him examining his mother's eyes. When Lope's father arrived, there was a hurried consultation between the two men. Yes, really, it will only require a simple operation if you let me do it for you. Lope waited outside. Finish? What is happening to my mother? And friend came out. They smiled when they saw Lopez's anxious face. Next week, your mother will be able to thread her needle, even at night. Sir, in all this excitement, my young son has forgotten to tell me the name of the person we shall always be thankful and grateful to. May we know the name of mother's doctor? My name is Jose Rizal. 